actually watching a federal trial. They are among the thousands who believe that a popular weed killer is responsible for their cancer. Channel 2's investigative reporter Nicole Carr spoke with the men who have all been diagnosed with the same disease. Nicole. Joe Vito, what's happening in San Francisco this month will have a direct impact on these landscapers who worked for years keeping yards lush, and they're hoping a jury will find that their exposure to Roundup is behind the disease that's changed their lives. This is James Brown's before, a head full of hair, bulging muscles from a long professional boxing career, a family man on the move. Today, the landscaper's hands show his after. Stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, diagnosed in 2016. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna, it's gonna take me out probably before my regular time. Brown and thousands of others across the country believe that cancer comes straight from the chemical glyphosate that makes the top-selling weed killer Roundup. I want people to understand how dangerous this is, so nobody else gets sick from this when you don't have to be. Jarvis White's cancer is terminal. He's given up on chemo, PET scans, and talking about the disease. I think his thought process is, I don't want to know because there's nothing you can do. Brown and White are two of four Metro Atlanta landscapers represented by Jonathan Johnson. Their cases are combined with federal suits that have headed to trial in San Francisco this month. With a California judge deciding there is enough evidence for a jury to make the final call on whether Roundup is behind the deadly disease. Yeah. For me, I'd like to be able to get these people recovery while they're still alive. Last year, Channel 2 investigation introduced you to more Georgians in the same shoes, while a global executive from Monsanto echoed what their lawyers say today. They're confident the unregulated chemical is not the cause of cancer, and so are 800 scientific studies, some backed by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. It's a product that Monsanto will go to war to protect. Now, on Thursday, a toxicologist testified that glyphosate was linked to one groundkeeper's cancer, with Monsanto saying he was paid to lie under oath. There are also state court judges watching this very closely. So while you have thousands or hundreds of these cases wrapped up in federal court, there are thousands nationwide, and many of those are, uh, have been filed in state court. We're live in Midtown. Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News. That's right, Nicole.